are exclusive with one of the most successful and controversial coaches in college sports history. I had a chance to sit down one-on-one -on -one with former Louisville coach Rick Pitino to talk about his new memoir, Pitino, My Story, and the scandal that forced him out of coaching. I began our conversation by asking why he decided to write this book now. A sort of a goodbye to, to my life in basketball. Kind of sad in a way, but it's an ending, and I didn't want it to be the ending that was being portrayed because it wasn't the truth. Coach Rick Pitino's basketball victories are legendary. Completes the emotional journey. In his four decades long career, he's won two national championships, but a series of scandals at the University of Louisville has damaged his reputation. In 2009, he admitted to an extramarital affair with a woman who later tried to blackmail him. Then in 2015, another scandal involving a member of his coaching staff. It's got me sick to my stomach. Who allegedly paid to bring in prostitutes and strippers to entertain players and recruits. And just two years later. What do you think of all the attention being paid to yet another scandal at the school? An FBI investigation is announced regarding an alleged payment by Adidas executives to a potential basketball recruit. Let's start 2015. That's when one of the scandals hits about someone on your coaching staff that he paid prostitutes and strippers to perform for players, recruits in a dorm, and that you had no knowledge of that. You know, some people would, knowing you, they would say, how could you not know? So how did this happen? Security didn't know. My assistant coaches didn't know. This would happen four times a year, probably at one o'clock in the morning, behind closed doors. They didn't want anybody to know. it, And it was hidden for a reason, because it was reprehensible behavior. Do you think it's something, though, that you, you should have known? I wish I could have known. I would have been stopped immediately. Uh, the behavior would have been not only stopped, people would have been fired, and there would be a, a price to pay. From the outside, can you see how some people would say, how much more can Louisville take? 100%. I take full ownership for everything that happened as a leader of the program. But give me a chance to explain that I had nothing to do with what the FBI put out there. That being said, I can understand how somebody out there could say, look, enough's enough with this type of situation. You ought to lead them. I remember your, your press conference, Rick, when you went after the, the shoe companies. I think we need to get the shoe companies out of the lives of young athletes. You said it was so much money and it was really hurting the game. Yet you and other coaches getting a really good salary from these shoe companies. So what is the role? Well, I said that. I benefited greatly by the shoe companies, and the shoe companies help an awful lot. But there's also an element from that when you deal with 150, 200 million, a billion dollar industry, people, 10% of the people do the wrong things with that. And that's exactly what happened with Adidas. In 2017. Coach, did they fire you? While not specifically named, Patino and two of his assistants were alluded to in federal indictments, alleging they knew about a $100,000 payment by Adidas executives to a top tier recruit to ensure his commitment to Louisville, one of the schools the sneaker giant sponsors. Adidas has declined to comment. Patino denies any knowledge of payments, but believes student athletes should get a share of the billion dollar industry that is collegiate sports. These athletes should have a right to sell their images, to sell their likeness, go do a commercial. They have a right to How do that. How would that work, though? I mean, it's the Olympic model. The, the Olympians do it. Why can't, why can't the college basketball player, the college football player do it? But also, people would look at, okay, you're just putting more money into what is already seen as being an issue with collegiate sports. Well, the colleges are making the money and the NCAA is making the money. The athletes aren't making the money. I think every athlete has a right to sell their image. You end the book by saying the buck stops with you. But yet in reading the book, you do place a lot of blame elsewhere. Uh, the university, NCAA, um, shoe companies, Adidas, some of your, on your staff. Um, there will be some people who will read it and say, is this guy in denial? Is he? No, I'm, in, I'm not in denial. I did, look, like I said, I've not cheated the game. I never uh, one time as a head coach said, here's Robin, here's $20,000, come play for me. So I'm not in denial. We all have done things wrong. Do you want to coach again? I don't. Uh, it's over for me. I know that. That's why I wrote this book. This book is, is my life. I have to take responsibility for the things that have gone wrong. Is this about your legacy, this book? Trying no, to... it's not. The legacy is my legacy of my children, 
I got a great family, great wife, players I've coached for over 30 some odd years as a head coach. There's highs and lows. I wrote this book because I don't want it to end as a low. I don't want to hear disgraced Rick Pitino anymore. I don't want to hear that term anymore because I coached in an honest way, got every ounce of perspiration I could out of every athlete I've coached for the right reasons to make that athlete better. And he was strong about saying he was not going to be returning to coaching either in college or the pros, but that he would still like to work with athletes. I mean, that's he's a gym rat. He yeah. loves to go mm -hmm. in there and make kids the best that they can possibly be. Once yeah. a coach, always a coach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And my story, Patino, my story is in stores right now. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.